I'm going to give you two powerful tips to increase your sales for your small business. One, how to improve your Google ad and two, how to close more sales. These are two very powerful, but simple tips. Let's get started. So the first thing, this is a client. He's a, uh, a vocal singing coach in Hawaii. He wanted me to come in, take a look. How can we improve his score? Because he's looking at my his conversion score. Great cheap cost per click is like 67 cents, which is super cheap. Um, but his conversion score is super low. He wants to improve the conversion score. So what that means, basically, there's a lot of impressions that are not relevant to his keywords. So he's not getting charged for them, but it's just like extra noise. So what we want to do to increase his, increase his uh, click through rate is we want to go through what are people searching for, for the keywords and, and the tip number one, add negative keywords should always be doing this when you're managing a Google ad campaign. So I'm in his ads. We're going to go campaigns and then we're going to go to search terms. Now there's a difference. There's keywords, which is what you selected. Think of like folders, what you're selecting. So his keywords are like singing lessons, for example, uh, and they're broad match. So they're bringing in all sorts of different variations of that. But what the user enters into Google is different. That is what's called the search terms. That's what the user is entering. So if we look under search terms, we can basically see, okay, the way to read this report, let's bring this a little better. So we have the search term. So people are typing in how to teach yourself how to sing. It's a close phrase match to his keyword singing lessons, which is broad. So it's all that's, that's how you can see how broad it is. Uh, you choose singing lessons as your keyword. And then if someone types in how to teach yourself how to sing, Google's like, yeah, that's pretty close as broad match. There's three different types, broad phrase and exact. Um, and then that brought in a click that ended up, and this is the most important thing right here, the conversions. This is very important because when you build your Google ad campaign, you need to put a little piece of code on the thank you page that fires or will send a message back to Google sending a conversion to let you know, yes, this person not only went to the landing page, but they also filled out the form, took the action that we want and made it to our thank you page. So that way, the conversions is the most important column. That way we can look through all the keywords to determine which keywords are not bringing in conversions for, because you could get clicks, but the clicks may not turn into conversions. So for example, the first thing what we're going to do is sort by impressions. So I can see all those impressions. So say, for example, people are typing in Cheryl Porter vocal coach, 408 searches in 30 days that resulted in three clicks. Uh, he paid for those three clicks because you only get charged when the user clicks on it, but they did not result in any conversions. So this is, for example, that he's getting lots of noise, lots of impressions, and even some clicks, but they're not relevant to his business or uh, his campaign, which are not turning into leads, for example. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go through this entire list sorted by impression. And I'm gonna, just going to create a list right here called negative keywords. You can use Google Docs, Apple Notes, doesn't matter. And I'm just going to keep writing down any keywords. I like using single word keywords, uh, first name, last name, like Cheryl, then another one for Porter, for example. So if anyone types in Cheryl or the word Porter, it will not show his Google ad, which will not waste a click, for example. So I'm going to go through this list of search terms all of these words and if there's a word like falsetto it's not relevant 191 people 191 impressions but it is not turning into any clicks or worse it's not even turning into any conversions right here for example let me bring that over a little there we go there's a conversions column then i'm going to add it to the negative keyword list and you can see there's over god there's over 100 keywords that I found that are just not relevant. Uh, it's just noise. Um, they're causing lots of impressions, but are um, not improving his Google ad. So I'm gonna take all those keywords and I went through, went through this whole list and found keywords that were not relevant. And now the second step, what I'm gonna do is go to his campaign, go down to search keywords, and then I'm gonna go to negative keywords, this tab right here. I'm gonna click on this plus symbol. I'm gonna choose campaign because we're not, doing a bunch of different ad campaigns every or different ad groups. It's just, everything's just one, one campaign to make it super easy. I'm going to take all of these keywords, highlight them, copy and paste. 
So now I've got all of these keywords in the negative, add to the negative keyword list. And there's a little button right here that says save. It gets saved and we're done. That's the first tip is adding negative keywords to your Google ad campaign so that we can improve again, it just improve the conversion score so that all of these impressions, this, his impressions will go down. His clicks will relatively remain on average the same, uh, but his click through rate will improve. Uh, and then it will also, well, actually his clicks will also go down, but his conversions will also go up because they'll uh, fire. He'll get more ad budget uh, to be shown towards keywords that are actually relevant to his Google ad campaign. So that's the first tip. Highly recommend doing that. You should do it. I do it once a day. Some people are just depends on depends on your budget, depends on how much uh, data you're getting. Um, so I do it like the first every day for like the first couple of weeks and it just refines the it refines it. So like, say, for example, this is another Google ad campaign that I'm managing for a life coaching client here. I'm relentless as far as adding negative keywords. So that's why we're, we went from a one percent conversion to a four point seven percent click through rate. I'm very happy with that, but I'm adding lots of negative keywords so that we're not showing this ad and wasting clicks, which are wasting budgets. We're only showing ads for the keywords that are relevant to the Google ad campaign. So that's our first tip. The second most important tip uh, is that your landing page, making sure your landing page has a really high conversion. His landing page is doing really well, meaning it's converting uh, a very in, in the double digits, which I'm very happy with. But here's the most important part and the second tip sales follow up. What that means is that he was he had leads. They were coming into the C, his CRM. So you have to be you have to have the leads go from your landing page to a CRM. Do not have them be like auto email to you and you get a little, little email saying, hey, you have a new uh, lead that filled out the form on your website. You're losing money. Guaranteed. One, you're not using a proper landing page tool. Two, you're not implementing a CRM. These are two very simple tips that will help double your revenue in your business. You want to make more money, right? That's what we're here for. So the second tip has to do with sales so that he had a bunch of leads. He had 19 leads in his CRM. Uh, they're also automatically going through um, an email sequence. And this is the mistake some marketers make that aren't trained as salespeople. Marketing just gets people to raise their hand and puts their name, put in their name and contact information, enter in the CRM done and then you do fancy automation sms email automation sure but this is where if you're a small business you need to have a sales person that will continuously follow up i'm talking about literally picking up the phone calling them text leaving a voicemail text and then email and doing that twice a day because here this is a screenshot from grant cardone one of his sales presentations notice the second part here two percent of sales are made on the first contact because i get a lot where business owners are like yeah these leads they don't answer we took a small business from eight leads a month to 300 leads a month and they never had a salesperson follow up so they were just waiting for people to call and book and they were losing all of those leads going yeah they just never booked it's, it was it was the reason was they didn't have a salesperson continuously follow up or they would follow up, get a voicemail and then leave it and never, never call them back again. So they would only contact them once. So that's the first contact. So you have to have a salesperson that look at this. You can recoup up to on average 80% of sales. These are leads that came in, fill out information. They raised their hand, gave you their name, phone number, and email. They're interested in your product or service. For example, you can recoup or increase 80% of your sales from those leads between the fifth and the 12th contact. So that's why I say call them, text them, email them twice a day, every day for the next two weeks or until they say, don't bother me again. That's what your salesperson should be doing because honestly, people are busy. Your customers filled out the form and then they had to go back to work. They had to go back to family. They had to attend an emergency. They had to go to a wedding whatever they're busy it's your job as the small business to increase the, to have a person that's responsible for sales that will call uh every single lead that comes in ideally this is um i used to work in the real estate industry uh, we had a very competitive um 
niche that we were in where we literally had a timer. So as soon as the lead filled out the form, we had less than five minutes to call them back because if we didn't call them back in less than five minutes, even less than three minutes, we lost that sale to a, to a, a comp, comp, to a competitor. That's how like, so your follow up process not only has to be, um, has have a high frequency, but you also, it's speed is king. You have to be the first one to reach out to your lead in that moment. As soon as they fill out that form on your website, that's why it's really good to have, um, an automatic email or SMS follow, follow up tool. That's super handy. There's tools out there like Clavio, for example, not promoted. There's one Clavio for, I think it's like 35 bucks a month. We implemented this for a real estate client. This, as soon as they fill out the form on the website, this will automatically send them a text and SMS um, or text and email automatically and continuously follow up until they respond, for example, or qualify for them. So the speed is king. Uh, that's why here I want to make sure that you're continuously following up with your leads that are already in your CRM or your email. If they're in your email list, move them to a CRM, get more contact information, call them or email them twice a day to close that sale. That's your job. So those are two very simple tips that you could increase the amount of leads and clicks uh, on your Google ad campaign. And two, you can close more sales just by following up by increasing the frequency and also in increasing the speed that you reach out to them. If you want me to look at your Google ad or help you increase your leads and sales for your business, go ahead and click the link below. I love to take a look and help grow your small business. I'm Jonathan Acuna. Hope you learned something today and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.